Uh, Minister, good to meet you here in Ross Lear. I spoke to a couple of refugees who want to know why they're getting three month stamps from the Gardaí on their passports. I can't comment on specific cases like that, Alan. I don't know the details okay. of it. Um, they're also, their thing is, how long can they stay here? They're just. Wondering. Temporary Protection Directive was uh, one year initially, yeah, so one year with full rights. Okay. And uh, a homeowner was just telling me how. He has taken in people through word of mouth. He has four in his house. There are three yeah. other houses in the area where the homeowners want to bring people in, but they want to do it through the Red Cross. Yes. Can you get that hold up fixed fairly quickly? Yeah, they're making 1,200 calls per day at the moment. The Defence Forces are helping them out now as well. And the target is by the end of next week, everyone who has pledged will have got a phone call. That includes people who have rooms in their homes as well. Initially, it was the discrete buildings that were being worked through. They've been worked through. Now they're moving on to people who have pledged rooms and houses. And the aim is by the end of next week, everyone would have got a call. When would the people move in? Like, say, does these three houses, just for example? And Again, it will depend on the house, it will depend on the situation. People might do the call and realise that their pledge doesn't fit with what's needed as well. It, it has to be worked okay. with every individual situation. Then, community groups are, I mean, just in, just in the community, I, I work in my Ross, we have 76 community employment places, mm -hmm. but there are only 40 people available for those places. So the services provided in, the, in that one community are lower than what would be desirable. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to provide an extra service now to Ukrainian people. Mm -hmm. I mean, can they join CE schemes? Uh, can they? Can we change the community employment? I know it's not necessarily your brief, but can well, we do actually, something there? It actually is. So we did actually change community employment rules back in December uh, in situations where a replacement can't be found that person can stay on, but the referrals to community employment schemes nationally, can't comment, I don't know the specifics of that particular one, but nationally have gone up significantly and there's a lot more referrals being sent than places being taken at the moment as well. That's the national picture, I don't know exactly the situation in that Well, one. that's cool, that's um, great. Just internationally, community groups are looking for leadership so that in, in, in responding to this refugee crisis, what kind of reassurances can you provide to our community groups and to the refugees that are helping that you know this is happening and it's happening fast to support the state's response to the re Ukrainian refugees is, has been number one on the political agenda since it started it remains that way the department of the Taoiseach is coordinating it so he's taking a very close interest in this as well um, there are, there are different layers, secretary generals of every government department who are meeting every Friday on this issue in particular. I'm going out and about as much as I can in terms of my community development remit to see what's happening in communities like this and to report back up. The community response forum have been set up in every local authority as well. We'll be keeping a close eye on them, particularly in terms of the issues that are coming up through them, mm. into the CCMA as well, who we're meeting with on a, week, on a weekly basis as well. So we're taking it very seriously. Um, the community response for I think, will be particularly important. But leadership is not just happening at government level. Leadership is happening at every community level, and I think that's been evident from day one. The community leadership at a very uh, local level is what's, I suppose, made the response nationally a very good one to date, and I, th and I think we're matching that now at national government level. Well, just to, just to be particular about the person I spoke to this morning who would be a community leader who got born into community leadership through this refugee crisis, he really is asking, why can't it move faster? And I know you've replied, but what would you say to local people who have suddenly become activists, like you yourself maybe became mm. one way back years ago, what would you say to them in terms of patience or... You know, to encourage them. Well, what I would say is that we've now set up the structure whereby we're going to we're going to get a, a more formal um, view on what the issues are on the ground. And as I said, we're going to be looking very carefully at what's happening in the community response for. Very important that there's communication and coordination at the local level. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are doing good work. Uh, they're not always talking to each other in different groups, and I include state actors in that as well. State actors and community and voluntary groups, they need to coordinate, they need to communicate. And then we'll have a clearer picture in national government of where exactly is best uh, to intervene and perhaps put more uh, supports in place. Could we have another community development programme specifically for Ukrainians? Um, I think we're more likely to use the structures that we have than to start from scratch with a yeah, whole yeah. other new structure. Uh, and I keep talking about two things that come under my remit, SICAP and the volunteering centres as well. Yes. Um, they're doing excellent work and um, 
I think that's that's where we'll focus our efforts going forward. And, and more money will probably surely go into Spike Camp. It has to. I can't. I'm, I'm not going to speculate this well, stage, really but we're looking to, at yeah. every option now at the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. I hope the teacher gets to. Thanks, Minister. Thanks, Alan. Could we have one website yeah. that would gather together all the different yeah. national bodies? What I would say is the gov.e website has a specific Ukrainian page. It has been augmented in the last week or so to include information about community response for volunteering options as well. 